Hey everyone, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, I'm gonna show you guys how to hide the grid line on your wig. And I'm gonna be testing out a new product. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. It's my first time trying out this product and I wanna see how well it performs uh, in hiding, you know, the little lines that are on the wig. And the name of the product that I'm gonna be showing you guys today is called the Perfect Line Lace Wig Grid Filler. So it's exactly what it said it is. It's a lace grid filler. And if you guys are new to wig, you're like, what, what is that? So when you're looking at a lace front wigs, you guys, can you see that? Let me try and get up close so you guys can see. You can literally see like the little lines in the wig. Like you can see that. And I'm gonna try and fill it. So when I apply my wig, it's gonna look a lot more realistic and you can't really see those lines that almost looks like window screens. Now the wig that I'm gonna be using today, you guys, the hairline, the knots are very small at the hairline. However, even though this wig is lightly bleached, the knots are huge huge at the back so i figured you know what this product would be perfect for this wig and i also want to test it out on a wig that is not bleached at all so i want to see what the difference is you guys know i usually do my ball cap method but i'm not gonna do that today because i want this to be beginner friendly so if you're the type of person who you have no idea how to bleach the knots on your wig. I wanna see how well this products work without bleaching the knot. And I have two of them right here. I kinda tested this one out a little earlier. And they come in five different shades for different skin tones as well. So I'm gonna go with this one because it's closer to my skin tone. I know this wig is sitting a little high on my head right now, but trust the process, it's gonna look good when she is laid. This concealer, it's like a waxy finish, you guys, so it doesn't come off on the skin very easily. So in order for us to apply it onto our lace, we actually have to heat it up. You can use hot water, but I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer because I feel like it's a lot faster and I had it on the hot setting, heat setting, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start filling in that line. Now I am rocking a middle part today, so I don't see the need to apply it all over the lace front, just in the area that I need it the most. And you don't wanna overdo it, a little goes a long way. You wanna start off at maybe like an inch or two away from the hairline. So I'm just gonna remove the wig from the mannequin head just so I can see how it's looking. Now, based on how it looks, I need to fill it in just a little bit more. So I'm gonna go back in with my blow dryer on the hot setting, and then I'm gonna apply a bit more onto it. And I'm just packing it in just to make sure that it really fills in the grid. The product really soften up really, really quickly. I will say that. Now it's up to you how far you wanna take your part. I don't really like my part too deep if that makes any sense so i don't apply it all the way to the back of the wig i almost forgot to mention to you guys that this is sweat and water resistance and it can last up to one to four weeks which is really really good so you don't have to worry about it coming off very easy and this is also good for covering damaged lace and covering any kind of stains on your lace before i try that wig on i'm going to try on another wig and this wig, the knots are not bleached whatsoever. So we're gonna see how well the product works with this wig as well. So let me just pop this onto my head. I won't be installing this wig, by the way. I'm just gonna be installing the other wig, but you guys are gonna get an idea about how it looks. The knots aren't bleached. So as you can see with this wig, the knots are very, very visible, like in your face, visible. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm apply this wax right by the part as well. Same thing I did with the other wig and I'm just gonna pat the product in. I'm also gonna add some to the hairline. So this is where I think I kinda went a little wrong with this. As I mentioned before, do not use a lot of the product because a little goes a long way. If you use too much, it can get a little messy. And I think I did a little too much right by the hairline. So I'm gonna pop this wig on just to see how it looks. And I definitely see a huge difference already. I see a huge difference with the part. And I'm actually very impressed because considering that I did not bleach the knots on this wig whatsoever, this is pretty impressive. And I do think it's just a tad bit light for my skin tone, just a tad, but we can work with it. The grid lines are not visible. As for the knots right by the hairline, I would just tweeze it out a bit just so it looks a little bit more realistic and I can get away with not bleaching the knots toward this wig. 
All right, so back to the other wig. The concealer actually dries really, really fast, you guys. So now I'm gonna pop this wig on my head and already I'm very impressed with how the part looks. I cannot see the grid lines at all. It looks really, really good. As for the parting on this wig, it's not too wide of a part. I actually don't like my wigs with a very wide part. I feel like the wider the part is, the more unnatural the wig looks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the lace off and I'm gonna glue it down just like I always do. And I'm gonna add two layers of glue. Now, like I said, I did not do my ball cap method. I'm not used to not doing my ball cap method. I just feel they really do protect the edges and it, I don't like getting the glue anywhere near my edges. Guys, I feel a little late to the party. Like, I feel like I should have known about this product before because they're actually a Canadian based company and I live in Canada. And sometimes I get lazy. I don't really want to bleach the knots on my wigs all the time. And this product is something I could have been using and I didn't know about it before. Anywho, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that extra lace. You guys have seen me doing this before. So sorry if I'm not super detailed about the application because I've done this before. And I like to go in with my scissors just to get rid of the excess lace as well so I'm gonna apply the glue to the sides and you want to wait for it to dry clear just gonna go in with the blow dryer and then I'm going to apply the lace and melt it down using my rat tail comb and you guys if you are new to wigs and you're a beginner you should definitely check this product out before you go into bleaching your knots because bleaching your knots if you don't know what you're doing you can you can mess it up you can really mess up your wigs so now i'm going to do the same thing on the other side as well i cut the extra lace off apply the glue wait for it to dry clear and don't use your finger use a rat tail comb i am just being lazy right now but go ahead and use your rat tail comb this wig is looking good by the way you guys when i say lightly bleach this is how i got the wig so some companies will bleach the knot but they don't really like bleach it like how i would bleach it like it's lightly bleached so when i mentioned that this wig is lightly bleached it is a lightly bleached knot but the knots are still you know visible but the product actually helped hide the knots the scalp area actually looks really good i'm really impressed with this product but i'm just gonna add just a little bit of my foundation powder just because i feel like it's just a little bit light like it's a little too light for my skin tone maybe it's not showing up that light on camera but I feel like it's just a tad bit so i'm just gonna add a little bit of foundation powder and i'm just using the foundation powder just to get it to match my skin a little bit better and then i went in with my got to be free spray for my frizzies but you guys i think the color looks pretty good right now and they do have five different shades so i probably have to pick up one just a little bit darker for my skin tone and this is how it's looking like it looks really good like she is giving me scalp scalp with no grid lines i'm here for it and you guys, I apologize in advance if my audio was a little off during the talk through. I just got a new camera and I'm still trying to figure out the audio and everything with this camera. So I apologize in advance. But yeah, this is it. This is the completed hairline. It looks really good. Definitely go ahead and check out this product. I will put all the info in the description bar down below. And they were kind enough to offer me a coupon code for all my subscribers. So yeah, everything will be linked down below. And I'll see you guys in another video very, very soon i hope this video was helpful to you guys thank you so much for watching bye